Okay, today I make a video about the question what is the easiest WordPress theme to use? If you're not a coder, if you're not a developer and you want to build a website which looks really professional, um, I can assure you that the theme that I'm going to show you here is really an easy theme to use. It's called Karma. It's from True Themes and I'm just going to show you some uh, interface, how it looks. I mean, look, you know, it looks very professional. This is uh, basically a theme for companies. You can also blog with it. I can show the blog. Which looks like this. You can change, you can take away this bar, you can take away this part with the date and the amount of commands. You can change the text here, all very easy. So let me show you how this is done. If you have the theme here, uh, in this case it's from Unique Gifts Worldwide, which is a demo site that I use to show you. Um, if we make a new page, we will say Add New. We click here the plus, which is the shortcut. Then we can make all kinds of stuff. We can say, okay, I want a home page with three columns and images or a home page video left. So let's make a home page video left. I insert and I call it home page video left demo. I save. It's saving. Okay, so I pasted the URL now from a YouTube video. And I'm going to preview the page. And here we have a YouTube video. And then of course here, the rest of the content. You should uh, assemble, of course. But this is how easy it is, you know, I can look how nice it looks with the shadow here. This is how easy it is to work with this theme. And uh, that's why I think it's one of the easiest WordPress themes to use. You don't have to do a lot of um, coding on the. Uh, actually, you don't have to do any coding on this theme. They have a very nice support uh, for them. Normally, it takes about four to six hours before you get an answer, but you always get an answer. Then, another thing that I wanted to show you to show how easy this WordPress theme is to use is um, the theme uh, back office you might call it, the site options. So you have some general settings where you can upload a website logo. Um, you can uh, upload a favicon. There is an automatic logo builder, which is really nice. So you don't even need a, your own logo, actually. You can just pop it in there. Then there is all kinds of other stuff. Then you can have your uh, tracking code from Google Analytics. Very simple. Then there is block settings. You can have, you know, like two type of featured images. Uh, you can change the button text here. You can shut down or uh, install all kinds of stuff here, uh, etc. Then you have the styling in the CS, so you can uh, give your blog a color. And you can have a secondary color scheme, and you can also have custom CSS, which sometimes from the support forum they give you some custom stuff, and you can just drop it in there. Interface options, all kinds of stuff, breadcrumbs, footer columns, you can have like six footer columns, I mean, the best is four, I think. But you can change that if you want. Then the theme designer, which is very extensive, you can have a, a box layout, uh, and then you can set the the drop shadow. Uh, you can set the background, but you can set pretty much anything: font colors, heading colors, font sizes, you name it, and you can set it. Uh, type of typography. Uh, the typography is, you know, here very simple. You can. Uh, use custom Google web fonts then you can make forms which is awesome uh, the form builder is totally within the theme uh, utility pages basically it's a 404 page you can just set it there 
uh, home page settings, the slider times, etc. etc. I didn't even show you the 3D Cubus slider, uh, but you can have a very fancy slider in the theme. Uh, JavaScript settings and uh, some Twitter stuff. Anyway, it's uh, very easy to use theme, and uh, I guess you should just check it out. You can click the link below the video to check out the theme and its options. And um, I hope you like it.